In India's struggle for independence, there were many heroes who sacrificed their lives so that others could live in freedom. Lala Lajpat Rai, Subhash Chandra Bose, Chandra Shekhar Azad, Mahatma Gandhi, and many others. Today, we remember them and salute their sacrifices and their courage. This celebration would not be complete without our beloved Senator from the state of New Jersey, the Honorable Robert Menendez. Senator, welcome and thank you for being a part of this celebration once again. Well, thank you, Riti, for your kind uh, introduction and for welcoming back uh, to your program. I appreciate being with you. I'm glad to be celebrating India's uh, Independence Day with all of your viewers. Uh, this is a time to celebrate the world's largest democracy, a vibrant nation, a vibrant people who have helped move the world with their innovation, ingenuity, and culture, and we celebrate that. But it's also a day to celebrate those of Indian descent in every corner of the globe. So once again, I'm so happy to be celebrating India Independence Day with you uh, and with everyone who watches you in your program. And I certainly look forward to seeing my friends in the Indian American community as I travel the Garden State. Mahatma Gandhi campaigned against the British with a moderate approach based on nonviolence and non-cooperation. He led the Quit India movement and spent a number of years in jail. In March of 1930, Gandhi led his followers in a movement against the tax on salt, highlighted by the famous salt march to Dandi. He marched 400 kilometers from Ahmedabad to Dandi to make salt himself joined by thousands of Indians. This campaign was one of his most successful in upsetting the British hold on India. Today, we remember Mahatma Gandhi and his relentless efforts for India's independence. The Indian community in New Jersey celebrates the Independence Day enthusiastically with a parade and many other festivities often attended by Governor John Corzine. He has visited India numerous times and proudly calls himself a friend of India. Governor Corzine was my guest on this program last year, and we are thrilled that he is joining us once again in our celebration. Welcome back, Governor. Namaste. Thank you, Rita, for inviting me to your celebration of Independence Day of India, the largest democracy on the face of the earth. Congratulations to all those who celebrate India's democracy and its great people. The Independence Day of India is celebrated all over the country in many different ways. The people of India celebrate the Independence Day to pay homage to the brave patriots who sacrificed their lives to free India and gave us a reason to smile. Flag hoisting ceremonies and cultural programs take place in all the state capitals. The Prime Minister's speech from the precincts of the Red Fort in the capital of New Delhi is the major highlight and is telecast live for the nation to view. We are thrilled that once again, our great governor of the Empire State, the Honorable David Patterson, is joining us today as we celebrate the 62nd anniversary of the Independence Day of India. Governor, welcome to our program. Well, thank you, Vidi. You're pretty amazing yourself that you remember <laughs> that Rabindranath Tagore, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913, gave Mahatma Gandhi his nickname because he was Mohandas Gandhi, but Mahatma means fire. And of course, um, bringing light and bringing excitement into what inevitably became the independence of India uh, right before the stroke of midnight on August the 15th of 1947, when Prime Minister Nehru really said that this is the end of a hundred year struggle for India receiving its independence, but it really is the beginning. And so on the 62nd anniversary, we think about Nehru's words as India has become an international leader in culture and science and education and the arts and has become uh, a great partner to New York State in terms of commerce, one of our largest trading partners, and is still developing in that respect, uh, expanding in logarithmatic proportion the economic development of the globe. And so, on this Independence Day, as people sit in their homes and wave the Indian flag privately and publicly in order to express it, I wanted to give to you and to all of the people, not just of the Indian community of New York, but to all New Yorkers, because 
in boroughs like Queens and in Long Island and even in some of the upstate communities now uh, and certainly in Manhattan there are thriving Indian communities that are part of the structure of New York State's culture as well. The spirit of India has fascinated the world with its very mystique. A subcontinent with a 5,000 year old history. A civilization united by its diversity. India has always been known as a land where history echoes itself with all its wonders and every piece of stone and every particle of dust. Joining me now in our celebration of the 62nd anniversary of the Independence Day of India is our ambassador to the U.S., the Honorable Meera Shankar. I hope that the community will continue to act as a bridge between our two countries and will play a very important and increasing role in uh, strengthening the friendship and cooperation between us. As we complete our celebration of the 62nd anniversary of the Independence Day of India, we leave you with some breathtaking sights and sounds of India. Jai Hind! For all immigration needs, Attorney Aparna Dave, telephone 301-315-5842. Travelnet, 301-984-7300. Religious discourses by Dr. Satish Sharma at the Hindu Temple of Metropolitan Washington will continue until tomorrow as part of the Janmashtami celebrations at the temple in Adelphi, Maryland. The Durga Temple in Fairfax Station, Virginia also has special programs for Janmashtami celebration today and tomorrow. That's it for this week on Imagine Asian Television. Please don't forget to watch Coffee with Karan tomorrow morning at 11 here on MHC Networks and join us again next Saturday morning at 10.30 for more entertainment. Until then, I'm Nikki Tasha Marvaha. Happy viewing!